Welcome back to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss news and views about pop culture, science fiction, fantasy, food, cooking, the outdoors, and more. This past weekend was not particularly kind to Black Adam, because even though it was number one at the box office, it only earned $27.7 million. And that's not what the movie needed to earn. It needed to earn quite a bit more this past weekend. Black Adam conquered the box office again in its second weekend in theaters. The Warner Brothers comic book adventure starring Dwayne Johnson as a baddie who promises to change the, quote, hierarchy of power, unquote, in the DC Universe collected $27.7 million between Friday and Sunday. This was a decline of 59% from its opening weekend. So far, the movie has generated $111 million in domestic ticket sales and $250 million globally. And if we take a look over here, we can see that Black Adam has indeed made $139 million in international ticket sales, which is good, but only earning $250 million is not as good as what it could have been because Black Adam has a production budget of $195 million. That means that the movie needs to earn roughly two and a half times that or around $488 million in order to break even. And given that Black Panther Wakanda Forever is going to be opening in theaters in around two weeks, it's going to have very stiff competition the weekend after next. So Black Adam's ability to reach the break-even point has been hit pretty hard, I'm sad to say. It didn't take much for Black Adam to dominate at the box office, since only one new movie, Lionsgate's supernatural thriller, Pray for the Devil opened in North America. The PG-13 horror movie debuted in line with expectations, notching third place with $7 million from nearly 3,000 locations. Ticket to Paradise, a romantic comedy starring Julia Roberts and George Clooney, landed again at the number two spot with $10 million, dropping just 39% in its second weekend. The film has grossed $33.7 million to date, a solid result given the current challenges facing theatrical rom-coms. It has amassed another $85 million at the international box office, pushing its worldwide tally to $119 million. So that's done really, really well. But in order for Black Adam to make enough money, it's really going to have to do very, very well this coming weekend. And I don't know if it's going to be able to do that or not. At this point, I think the film may earn globally around $400 million if it continues at the same pace, in spite of Black Panther Wakanda Forever opening in two weeks. But if it drops even more, then it may not even reach $400 million. So I think Black Adam's ability to break even may not happen. I'm not saying that it won't break even, but it's become far less likely, I'm sad to say. Thanks for watching today. And a huge thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and please feel free to share a comment. If you'd like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please press the red subscribe button, and please press the bell to receive notifications for new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.